Yo, what's up, guys? Today we're going to be watching and reacting to Blade 2, which released in, I believe, 2002. So, we watched Blade the other day, or it was about a week or two ago. It probably was uploaded about two weeks ago from um, your perspective, but I really enjoyed it. I didn't think it was the greatest thing ever. It was definitely not, like, my top 10, 15 Marvel movies, but it was probably top 20, 25, maybe. It was up there somewhere, definitely, because it was really good. It was really enjoyable. It had some really great r-rated action so you were able to actually have some decent gore there obviously the whole thing with the vampires was awesome i think wesley snipes was just really fun to watch this is the only role i've ever seen him in i haven't actually seen any other movies with him so at least not that i know of i probably have i just haven't thought of it but he, he was great as blade essentially and i'm very excited to watch this one because i have heard this one is really good as well. I've heard some people say it's even better than the first one, so I guess I'll make up my own opinion on that and we'll see what happens. We're gonna do the third one even though I know a lot of people have said the third one's just not very good, but we'll do it anyways. We'll just do it real quick and get it done with. Maybe I'll like it though. I don't... Like I said, I don't know. There's a lot of movies you guys say are terrible that sometimes I like, so very possible I'll like it. But this one I'm definitely very excited for. I assume it's just gonna continue the story of him vampire hunting and I'm assuming there's going to be some other big villain that'll come around. There's probably going to be a vampire. I'm not too sure what directions they're going to go in from there, but I'm excited to see it. So let's just let's just watch it. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And also go check out my Patreon, which is in the description down below for full uncut reactions to these movies. First time giving blood. <coughs> yes. Your blood has a very rare phenotype, one we haven't encountered before. What are you talking about? Who are you? Good news for us. Oh shit. Wait, that guy's not a vampire then. But these guys are. Oh, he was just he was just a normal guy giving blood? And this is just a, a an operation where they take blood from people. Wait, no, he does not look normal. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so confused. What the hell is that? So this guy's not a vampire then, he's he's something else. He's like a zombie, I don't even know. What the hell? Oh! <laughs> what the fuck is that? Wow, okay, I don't know what that is, but... Shit. Already starting off with that good early 2000s music. I feel like I'm gonna like this one more than the first. I feel like I am, but I don't know. Two years ago, he was attacked. They took him and turned him into the thing I hate most. I should have finished him off. Wait. I will find him. <laughs> Already with the dope shots. What is he? <laughs> Again, the action and in, in the, the atmosphere, it reminds me of Matrix, I know. It just does. A lot of this just reminds me of Matrix. I think it's the glasses too. <laughs> the glasses, the way it's shot, the music, obviously. Oh! Damn! Yo, you see that shot? <laughs> it's a lot of CGI, but you know what? It works. It's early 2000s, you gotta give them a break. <laughs> Use the sword, oh, or that. That works. Holy shit. <laughs> Blade is the shit. <laughs> Blade is the shit. I did hear that the MCU Blade is might be PG-13, which I don't know how they're gonna make him PG-13. I just don't get that. Take me to it, and I'll consider you a loose end. Oh shit! Oh shit! Nice. 
<laughs> Those silver bullets really come in handy. Damn. Oh. I could watch I could watch this man killing people all day. <laughs> it's so fast. I'm assuming they sped things up, obviously, because I, I don't believe this man is that fast. He could be, I don't know. Get you later. <laughs> Look at what they've done to you. Yeah, I was under the impression that he was just like dead dead. But I guess not. Is he gonna finish him off right here? Oh shit, he's gonna bring him home? How is this gonna work? I feel like they retconned this. They definitely didn't plan this in the first one. They probably were just like, people liked Whistler, so let's bring him back. We got new people working here? Daryl Dixon's in this? Norman Reedus? I didn't know. How did I not know this? I'm a Walking Dead fanboy. I didn't know he was in this. Oh, that's a. That's a. Pleasant surprise. <laughs> that's a that's a pleasant surprise. Holy shit. Well, okay, I'm very much more invested in this movie now that he's in this. <laughs> I'm giving him an accelerated retroviral detox. Okay. Make you go cold turkey in one night. This shit ain't gonna work, man. He tortured me almost to death and then left me heal in a vat of blood. Sorry, sons of bitches could at least fix my goddamn leg while they were at it. <laughs> Why do I feel like Daryl's gonna be the best part of this movie? What's up? Nice to meet you, man. I heard a lot about you. Josh, you can call me Scud, though. That's what he does. Scud? The fuck does Scud mean? <laughs> the Powder Puff Girls? What are you doing here? Pitmobile? Just a little after month modification. <laughs> the Pitmobile? Where'd you dig up this shit, bird, anyway? <laughs> Fuck's your problem, Poppy. <laughs> hey, we jeopardized our whole operation to save your puckered old ass. Our operation? Yeah. Our <laughs> operation? I built this operation, you ass wipe. All right, their um, back and forth is already pretty great. Oh, damn, Whistler. Chill with that. You don't have to knock his ass out. Oh, he didn't knock him out. He just <laughs> messed him up pretty good, though. Holy shit. The fuck? What the fuck? They're so quiet. The fuck? Oh, that's cool how their things dilate like that. <laughs> wow. Shit. So are these vampires? He said they're like 50 degrees or something, which is obviously not human temperature. This fighting is incredible. So is the girl not in this one? I feel like the girl's not going to be in this one just because she hasn't been in it yet. It's looking like Mortal Kombat now. <laughs> Your people shot first. Okay. They're offering you a truce. Really? Because he's so... Badass, he kills so many of them. They're like, can we make a deal now? But now there's something else loose on the street. Oh, they're afraid of oh that thing from the beginning. Something worse than you. And so they're trying to team up with Blade now. See, from the beginning, I was assuming that that thing killing the vampires was gonna team up with Blade. Not that Blade was gonna team up with the vampires against this thing. So he's meeting with the Vampire Council or whatever they they call themselves. All right. There, Jared Nomak. Born a vampire. Find an anomaly like you. 
Oh. He feeds on not just humans, but vampires as well. So he just kills everyone. By our estimates, there are already a dozen Reapers. There'll be hundreds before the week's out. Shit. This is cool. Someone told me that there was a deleted scene in the first one where, like, Morbius shows up or something, which is interesting. That makes me think that the new Morbius movie might tease Blade. I know Morbius is not in the MCU, but it's, like, loosely connected in the MCU because of Vulture. So it's, like, you know, the Sony thing. They're, like, loosely... Um, you know what I mean? So they could tease Blade in that. But they won't, because it's Sony. Uh, they're only going to be teasing their own Spider-Man stuff, so... Sounds like a plan. What do you really think? They're gonna fuck us the first chance they get. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Oh shit. This guy looks terrifying, honestly. Not as terrifying as what <laughs> Quinn looked like in the first one after he was charred up and he came alive in the hospital. That shit was that was another level of terrifying. What if I need you? <laughs> He doesn't just go for an easy bite, he, he likes to beat the shit out of them first. <laughs> Ew. Ugh. You've been training for two years to take me out. And now, here I am. Ooh, so exciting. Here's your chance. Oh, shit. Why do they gotta mess- why are they gonna mess with us here? Why even bother? Now you got an explosive device stuck to the back of your head. Oh. I'll have the detonator with me. That is crazy. Why don't you post up on the roof over there? Cover our backs. Alright, you don't have to be a dick about it. You got an explosive in the back of your head. Keep pushing that song. <laughs> That's gonna come into play at some point. This is so interesting. I, again, I had no idea he'd be teaming up with vampires in this one, but I'm I'm down for it. Yo, chill. <laughs> Shit, these things look gross. Oh no. Don't kill my boy Scud. You can't kill off Daryl Dixon like that. What's man on the roof? I got him on the roof of my bus. That's a cool shot. It's a oh. 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 Yo. Now this is a horror movie right here. Is the enemy of Oh. oh, that didn't kill him. They don't die easily. Oh, holy shit. This dude's nuts with the sword, man. Now, this really feels like The Walking Dead. <laughs> Daryl's running from zombies. So what is gonna kill them faster? <laughs> yeah, that didn't do shit. Ugh. See, these guys are way more powerful than vampires. I think that's pretty clear. Yeah, they just don't die. They just don't die. Daylight might do it, though. Oh, shit! Is that gonna kill him, though? Ugh. What the fuck? Looks like the thing's from Dying Light. If you guys have played Dying Light, you know what I'm talking about. Oh my god. Oh. 
That is really cool looking. <laughs> this is insane. There you go. Okay, so that definitely gets them. That's definitely the way to kill them then. I'm pretty sure it did bite you. He's hiding it. That's not good. Yeah, so that definitely does it. Silver bullets don't work, but that does. That's good. Here I am. Why kill me? You and I. Who's the actor for this dude? He sounds familiar. Again, I love the music. <laughs> I just realized Ron Perlman was the Riker character. I couldn't recognize him, but I guess the glasses was doing that. He survived that shit. Yeah, Blade's like, what the fuck, man? You guys are really hard to kill. Sword fight? <laughs> Except he's got this thing. Which is definitely heavier. But packs a better punch when he does hit. Actually, no, I don't think I would. It packs a more blunt hit, but it's not as sharp. Nice. The reflection in the blade. Why didn't you tell me these things were immune to silver and garlic? I didn't know. Yeah, I'm assuming they would have let you know if that was the case. Oh. It was too late, I guess. This thing was starting to open up the- Oh, that's what the scar is! I just realized that's why they have the scar there, because that's where it opens up. That makes sense. Okay, I hadn't- I wasn't thinking of that. Is this guy with the sword- is this the same guy from Rogue One? The- I'm one with the Force and the Force is with me- Oh, shit. It kind of looks like him. Sunlight's like the only way, then. His metabolism is burning too fast. Oh. Uh, they need fresh blood every couple of hours. Yeah, that makes sense. Start feeding on themselves. So they're more powerful than vampires, but they also require a lot more blood and stuff than vampires, so in that way they're a bit weaker. Open the mouth, Scud. <laughs> <laughs> Hear the little chuckle he did? Like, fuck no. Dude, how old is Nomaritas here? He's gotta be, like... Late 20s, early 30s? Ew! Okay, awesome practical effect worked on that shit, though. That's for sure. Squeeze that tooth, Scud. Ugh, why Scud? <laughs> why does he have to do all this shit? We gotta go with the sunlight, though, right? That's deadly to us, too. Well, if you use it in controlled environments, with, like, the flashlight and stuff, then it's not an issue. What the fuck you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck you doing? I'm a pure blood. I was born a vampire. You know the thirst better than any of us. Shooting that serum of yours. The only difference between us is that I made peace with what I am a long time ago. This is definitely offering a different perspective on them cuz last movie it was just oh vampires are all savage, crazy, you know, like just kill them all but like this one they're actually giving some of them some some depth and heart and it's like okay they're not all terrible be real careful when you pop your love all right and you you're not coming no i'm a lover not a fighter <laughs> <laughs> just remember to take cover what's her name her name is nisa she's probably the one we've seen the most from those vampires looks to me like you're getting confused as to which side of the line you're standing on Keep your friends close. Keep your enemies closer. Who came up with that phrase? There's so many weird phrases that I always wonder where the hell did they come from? Like what originated that quote? I could probably look it up on Google in two seconds, but I don't really feel like it, so. I just looked it up because I actually felt like looking it up. <laughs> it's an ancient proverb. It goes back to the philosopher Sun Tzu. Alright, so it's much older than I thought it would be. <laughs> trying to attract him. Not scare them all. 
Yeah, well, some of us can't see in the dark, you fucking nipplehead. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking nipplehead. Ain't nobody here but you and us, buttercup. <clears throat> what the fuck? Oh, I knew this was gonna happen at some point. They were even talking about it before. They were like, when they have the time and the moment to do something like that, they're gonna do it. They'll fuck them over first chance they get. I think I think that's what Blade said. Only some of them though. They're not all terrible. Seems like, but some of them are. Damn, that looks cool. Well, don't be afraid. Start shooting. <laughs> oh shit, she just killed herself. Did she know that there was sunlight up there? Maybe she did, but damn, that was risky. Get up! Right now. Oh my god. You gotta get out of there. You gotta get out of there. <laughs> Damn. Dude, you guys have something more important to be doing. Why are you focusing on beating the shit out of this poor, oh, poor man? Such a cool atmosphere for this man. They're literally in sewers, fighting these feral beasts. They're like animals. This feels like I'm watching Aliens. Like, I don't know. The way it's all set up feels like Aliens. <laughs> he still has that bomb on his head. That's kind of funny. Nice. Oh, that's a badass shot. You obviously do not know who you are fucking with. <laughs> this shit's getting real good now. <laughs> yeah, I think stuck. Did I have to mention the bomb lever stuck? Yeah. You probably should have, asshole. You'll figure out a way. Yep, seems like he did. <laughs> there's so many of them, man. We thought there was gonna be like dozens. There's like hundreds. Yo, Blade is going off. <laughs> a great set piece for an action scene like this. I mean, come on, sewers? Fits perfectly. Don't no, not Whistler. You will survive this. Only to tell Blade about this ring. What? What? I guess we'll find out later. The fuck? Who are these people? You've done a great job. What? Not that great. I'd say. Oh my god. Uh, I knew I couldn't trust this vampire council completely. The Reaper strain didn't evolve. It was designed. Oh, really? Nomak told me. Saw him back in the sewer. Wow. Nomak was the first. A failure. But in time, there'll be a new pure race. Begotten from my own flesh. Immune to silver. Soon, even sunlight. That, okay, this makes a lot more sense now. I would have thought that was obvious at this point. I give it to him, of course. Gift. From father. So that was his son. Okay. Fuck you! Nisa won't allow this. Kiss your ass goodbye. Oh, they definitely found a way to get it out of his head. Or... Something. 
I don't know. I'm sorry, man. You're wasting your time, man. Bombs are dud. It's never supposed to explode. Really? It's just supposed to make you feel in control. Oh, that is... That hurts. That hurts. I'm one of Damaskino's familiars. What? They needed my help to bring you here to control Nomak. I'm disappointed in you, Daryl. You really can't trust nobody in this universe, I feel like. It's not a dud. What? Oh. I was just starting to like him. <laughs> Damn. That kind of hurts. I liked his character. But now, now I'm <laughs> rethinking my liking. <laughs> it was nice to see him there, though. He was he was a good addition to this movie. How many vampires he's killed with this thing? Not nearly enough, Fritz. <laughs> yes, kick his ass. Yes, I want a little fight between those two. That'd be fun. Oh, and they're here. <laughs> this is mayhem, man. Oh shit. Dude, his face looks awesome. The effects on it. It looks gross, but it looks awesome. Nice. Nice. Ooh! <laughs> he, he fucked them all up, dude. I, I just love how that mouth looks. It's really well done. Especially when they you, you do it in practical shots. Sometimes I think it's CGI, but a lot of times it's also kind of practical and it just looks really cool. Oh shit. You probably should have finished this dude off. I mean, how are you going to if you don't have your vampire gear on you, I guess? Huh. Jump in the blood. Go, go! He's gonna jump out. He's gonna jump out. <laughs> or slowly walk out even better. <laughs> Fuck him up. He needs the sword back. <laughs> Damn. Damn, damn! <laughs> Wesley Snipes, man, he know he knows how to fight. He knows how to fight. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, like my dad He's literally said, giving up. Uh, He's literally giving up. Want anything done right, you gotta do it yourself. Oh, I thought he was giving up. Does he actually think he can do something here? Oh my god. <laughs> can you blush? <laughs> I think I like this one more than the first, just by a little bit. Because, like, you already have these characters established, so I feel like it's already kind of like, everything's just set in motion, and it's it's great. It's a great movie. Sado. That's not the, not the reunion I was expecting here. Yep. Yeah. Okay, that's kind of what I was expecting. She's like, yeah, I don't give a fuck. Ugh. 
blade. Come on. Oh, fuck. I thought Blade was going to come. Well, you're a little late. <laughs> oh, shit. I find these reapers to be really interesting. It's probably one of the better... I would say it's what's making the movie more enjoyable than the first one for me. I, cause I just I find these creatures to be really interesting. Ow. <laughs> a lot of early 2000s CGI moments. It looks fine though. I don't have a problem with it. Oh. Ow. <laughs> oh shit. Get it right in that mouth. Oh. Oh. He just finished himself off, okay. Well, damn. So what happens to Nisa, then? I can already feel it burning inside of me. I want to see the sun. That's how you want to go out? Want a hell of a way to go out. It's kind of a beautiful moment, I guess. Damn. She's been my favorite vampire so far, so... Razor blades, just in case. Couple of razor blades. Oh shit. <laughs> That's how they ended it. <laughs> what a way to end the movie. So I think I like that one more than the first, but I'm not sure by how much. Like it's not like it's a huge gap. It's not like this one's a million times better. I think it's just slightly better. Probably because, I mean, a lot of times with sequels, I feel this way, where I feel like the first one does a really good job of building everything up, and it's like, okay, you understand the characters now, and so when you start the second one, from the get-go, you're already invested in these people, rather than having to spend, like, an hour getting invested. Because, like, in the first Blade, I didn't really get invested until, like, you know, an hour into it, because you had to kind of slowly get to learn these characters bit by bit. You didn't really learn, learn them until, like, halfway through the movie. So usually first uh, movies for, like, a lot of these movies, uh, trilogies and stuff, Usually they're much better on rewatch because then you understand them as it goes along. And I probably will like the first Blade even more after watching it again. But Blade 2, I feel like from the get-go, I was already enjoying it because I already knew these characters. For most of them, obviously some of the new ones I had to learn, but I was already invested. And I do think they upped the scale in terms of the action sequences. I don't know if anything will beat that one action sequence in the first one, though. That opening scene was amazing. And something in this might have... I really like the tunnel scene in, in the sewers. That was awesome. But um, I find these Reapers to be very interesting in terms of the story of how they were created and such by the vampires. I liked how it focused on some complexity with some vampires who weren't really that bad of people. They were just vampires, like uh, Nisa, for example. And I'm fine with Whistler coming back. I was okay with his character dying in the first one, but he was a great character, so it was cool to see him in this one. Norm Norman Reedus is awesome as Scud. It's kind of unfortunate to see him betray our people by the end, but it's alright, because it was fun to watch. He was probably one of the funnier parts of the movie, so a lot of scenes with him were just enjoyable all around, because Norman Reedus is just great at that. And yeah, I'm excited to watch the third one, even though I've heard from most people that it's not very good, but I don't care. I'm going to watch it anyways. You guys know that eventually I will watch it. Probably not within the next couple movies. I got a couple other movies I want to do before I do that, I think. But now nah, we'll probably do it soon, actually, because I kind of want to get it just out of the way before Spider-Man No Way Home comes out so I can rank all the comic book movies I've ever seen in a tier ranker. And that would include the Blade movies, so I do want to finish that before uh, December 17th. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you at the next one. 
Don't forget to check out my Patreon, which is in the description down below for full uncut reactions. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Peace out.